Hi, I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speed Screed. I'm here today to talk about levelling screed minimum thickness. We're often asked, what is the minimum thickness? And so really to explain that, we have to talk about what the substrate is, because the different types of substrates are going to affect how thin you can actually go. So from a minimum perspective. So first of all, we've got bonded. That's where it's bonding to the, the, the substrate. Uh, that could be a concrete substrate, beam and block, uh, etc. The next is unbonded. So you've got a membrane in between the substrate and the screed. So it's going in unbonded. And then we've got floating construction where you've got uh, possibly a membrane and you've also got the insulation uh, in between. So the construction is floating. So each one of those types of uh, construction allows for a different minimum depth. So if we take bonded first and give you a bit of a, an overview of all the different types of products uh, that you may use there, then hopefully that'll give you some, I some idea. So if you're looking for a smoothing compound, uh, so something because you're going to be putting thin vinyls down, you're just looking to take out the imperfections uh, of a floor, of a concrete, of a screed before that, uh, that vinyl goes down, then you're looking at starting at feather edge. So that would be with a bonding agent, you'd have to ensure that the substrate was, was clean, uh, wasn't contaminated and was, was sound. So you'd need to look at all those, those elements. I'm not going to go uh, into depth on uh, the, the bonding side of it uh, right here, but you would need to bond at a feather edge and uh, you know, you're looking at around about a one mil start. For a, a sand and cement, for a modified sand and cement, so that's a, a fast strength gain or a, a fast drying screed, you'd be looking at a, a 10 mil minimum. For a traditional sand and cement, you'd be looking at a, a 40 mil. So 40 mil as defined by the, by the British standard for a traditional, say, one to four mix. The next is unbonded with the membrane. So a, a specialist smoothing product can go in at 15 mil. So that would be a, a calcium sulfate version, uh, could go in at, at 15 mil starting. The sand and cement, the modified rapid strength gain can go in at 35 unbonded. And the traditional screed, the one to three, one to four can go in at 50 mil unbonded. If we move on to floating construction, a calcium sulfate flowing screed can go down to 35 mil, and uh, that's domestic, and 40 mil commercial, that's commercial use. The sand and cement modified uh, screed for rapid strength starts at 35 mil. A traditional sand and cement screed is 65 mil for commercial and 75 mil for domestic. So I hope that gives you an idea of the of, of the possible screed depths. If you've any further questions, please let me know and I'll only be too happy to answer them. Thank you.